At the core of fair machine learning lies the question, what is fairness? To answer this question, a fundamental goal of this research is to define ethical standards for machine learning technologies and to help build tools that live up to such, such standards. This endeavor has become urgent in light of the rapid advancements within machine learning, which have enabled the widespread use of algorithmic decision making. Now, to measure the fairness of algorithms, formal metrics are constructed. In recent years, many such metrics have been proposed in the research on fairness. However, despite great efforts, there are still fundamental issues that the field has not been able to overcome. To address issues like this one, we argue for a clarification of the roles of formal contributions and ethical debate in fair machine learning research. We can conclude from this interpretation that while fair machine learning depends on formalizations, Analysis of formalized criteria is not sufficient to determine the grounds for a choice between different criteria. Fair machine learning thus also, also depends on a comprehensive discussion of ethical goals and values. Consequently, a formalization strategy is needed that incorporates ethical considerations. In our paper, we discuss some fairness metrics and their weaknesses. A discussion that leads us to a further issue of current fairness debates. Formally constructed fairness criteria are often not sufficiently contextualized. In the face of these issues, which we discuss in more detail in our paper, we introduce a framework we call dynamic fairness modeling. So these are the three steps of dynamic fairness modeling. First, explicating moral goals. Second, choosing or constructing appropriate formal metrics. And third, modeling downstream effects. In this video, we outline the three steps of dynamic fairness modeling in more detail. In our full paper, we additionally illustrate the framework by the example of positive action measures in the European Union. Additionally, we present and discuss technical research that already leads in the direction of this approach. So if you are interested, we encourage you to, to refer to our paper.